choosing a career or study level is one of the important aspect of student's life. Once the student has uh, found his interest and identified his passion, then he can take a call on what career to choose. But often students are confused and most of the times they are also driven by the decision of their parents. In this video, let us discuss what are the best career choices for a student who opts science after the 10th grade. Now let's discuss engineering as a career choice. Engineering is a field of science which encourages creativity and also critical thinking. If you are a creative person, then engineering would be a good career choice for you. And this is an era we are living with a lot of technological advancement. And there are so many opportunities for you as an engineering graduate. So what are some of the best engineering colleges in India? To list a few, some of the best IITs in India include IIT Madras, IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur and Karakpur. There are about 21 IITs in India, but these are the top ones. But how do you get into these engineering colleges? As a student, you need to write an exam called a JEE. What is JEE? JEE is Joint Entrance Exam. It is conducted in two phases. The first phase is called JEE Mains. And the second phase is called JE Advanced. So what is the difference between these JE Mains and Advanced? JE Mains is a step for you to get into National Institutes of Engineering. That is NITs actually, National Institute of Technology. So once you clear this you know, JE Mains with 80 and uh, above 80 percentile, then you become eligible to write JE Advanced, which is considered to be one of the toughest exams in science. So if you clear JE Advanced also with a good rank, then you become eligible to get into the top premier engineering institutes in India, that is Indian Institute of Technology. So how many students are taking this JE exam every year? More than 10 lakh students take up JE exam every year. And out of this, only 10,000 students clear JE Advanced. That means mere one percentage clearing this JE Advanced exam. That means competition is maximum in this field. And if you see the packages after you get into IIT and clear your IIT exams and graduate, the best package what an IIT Bombay student would be getting would be around 16 to 18 lakhs per annum. Now let's consider the second career option that is medicine. As you know, medicine is one of the noble professions across the world. And if you have any problems related to health, doctor is the first person who comes to your mind. And if you are really passionate about human body and the marvels of how this body works, then this medicine would be the best choice for you as a student. So what are some of the best colleges to do medical sciences in India? Let us see. AIMS, that is all Indian Institute of Medical Science, Delhi. PGIMA, that is Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research, Chandigarh. Nimans, that is National Institute of Mental Health and uh, Neuroscience, Bangalore. SGPJMS, that is Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute of Medical Science, Lucknow. BHU, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi and many others. So what is the entrance exam for medical colleges in India? NEET, that is National Eligibility Entrance Exam, is a nationwide exam conducted by National Testing Agency to select students for medical colleges across India. And what is the criteria? What is the syllabus for this? This exam carries 720 marks. And if you want to get into the best medical colleges in India, you should be scoring anything above 600. And if you want to get into AIMS, then you would be scoring above 640 marks. And how many students write this NEET exam? More than 16 lakh students are writing the NEET exam, out of which there are only about 45,000 seats available for government medical colleges in India. That means the competition here is also very high. Now let's discuss which competitive exam is best for you. If you see, JE has only three subjects, that is physics, chemistry and maths. Whereas if you see NEET, there are also three subjects, that is physics, chemistry and biology. So you need to prioritize maths in case of GE and here it's biology. But however, the distribution of marks 
for each subject differs in JE as well as NEET. If you see in JE, all the three subjects, that is physics, chemistry and maths are given equal weightage. That is 33.3% of the total marks is allotted for physics, chemistry and maths. If you take chemistry alone, out of the 33.3%, 11.1% is allotted for physical, organic and inorganic chemistry. However, in NEET, the distribution of marks is not equal. If you see NEET, the allotment of marks for all the three subjects is not equal. Biology is given 50% of weightage, that is 360 marks out of 720 is allotted for biology alone. And the remaining 360 is divided between physics and chemistry. That means biology has the maximum weightage in NEET. And also if you see engineering or GE exam involves critical thinking and also analytical skills. Whereas if you see NEET, it's a vast syllabus based exam. So if you like critical thinking and problem solving, then JE should be the exam for you. And if you like biology and if you're very passionate for human physiology and human body and biology, then you should be choosing NEET as an exam choice. So in conclusion, I can say that the choice of the exam and the career is dependent on each individual and his interest. So I hope you have enjoyed this content and if you like such content and if you want us to do similar videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.